I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 464. One of the reasons it's fun to be a Mac comes with an upgrade from one Mac to a new one. Migration Assistant moves your apps, customizations, and passwords over to the new Mac so you can hit the ground running. The Belkin Switch to Mac cable brings something kind of like the Migration Assistant to the switch from a Windows machine to a Mac. It won't move your applications, but it will move email, browser favorites, and settings, photos, and music. You choose what you want to move, and then the software-hardware combo goes to work to make it happen. Switchers will still have to deal with the differences between a Mac and a PC. Most former Windows users I've talked to tell me it takes two or three weeks to feel at home in the Mac environment as a switcher. My favorite video conversion tool, Visual Hub, is no longer supported by its developer. It's gone open source, though, so I have hope. Windows users often ask me to recommend a Windows alternative, and friend of the brief, automatedhome.com, found one. It's called Format Factory, and it'll convert almost every kind of video, image, and audio file you'd want it to convert. In addition to conversion, it rips DVDs and formats video for playback on iPods, iPhones, PSPs, and Blackberries. A link to download it is in the show notes for Brief 464 at www.geekbrief.tv. Another cool and free tool for Windows users is HD Clone 3.6. It creates complete working copies of entire software or operating system installations. Safe Rescue Mode even gives you a shot at grabbing data from a failing disk. The HD Clone says Smart Copy Mode can clone an entire Windows XP base installation in less than 20 seconds. USB 3.0 is on its way. It launches next Monday and it's 10 times faster than USB 2.0. It's backwards compatible, so a USB 3.0 cable will still plug into a USB 2.0 port and the other way around, but when 3.0 is plugged into 3.0, it will produce digital joy in the form of faster data transfer. EverythingUSB.com breaks down what the speed improvements mean in terms of time. Using USB 1.0, a 25 gigabyte file will take 9.3 hours to move. Using USB 2, a 25 gigabyte file takes 13.9 minutes to move. USB 3 moves the same file in 70 seconds. Unfortunately, the launch doesn't mean we'll start seeing it show up in our devices right away. Those future devices are yet to be designed. One more, Google released what may be the most useful iPhone app ever. It's an app that does a Google search based on speech. It's the very definition of what I call the extended mind. Want to know the population of Oregon? Hold an iPhone up to your ear and ask. The Google app will search and then deliver the answer. Want to know where the nearest Chipotle is? Well, first of all, you really should have the Chipotle location map memorized, but let's pretend you don't. Ask and Google will deliver the answer. The app combines voice recognition and the iPhone's location services to deliver relevant results based on where you are when you ask. What's more, the app uses the iPhone sensors and accelerometer to activate when the phone is raised to its user's ear. Very, very, very cool. This episode is brought to you by Rovio. You can meet Rovio at meetrovio.com. But hey, this is cool. Rovio Driver is an iPhone app that gives you remote control over your Rovio by taking advantage of the accelerometer built into an iPhone or iPod Touch. It's available for free in the iPhone App Store. I'm Callie Lewis. Thanks for watching. Oh!